Gina Loves Christmas, and today I'm going to put together the down-home holiday look from my friends at Sullivan's. I pulled together my favorites from this collection, and I want to show you how you can take your favorites and turn them into a custom tree. I'm using the Snowberry Connect tree. This tree is so cool. There's no wires. You just pop it together, and the lights turn on. <laughs> it's pretty much the best thing ever. And when you really want to see what the best thing ever is, Meet the 2020 Tree Stand winner of the year. I voted, this was the winner, and you can have it too. Go to Sullivan's website, it's available there. It's the cutest thing ever. It's also super cute with pumpkins in it, so I'm just saying. When I start my Christmas tree, I always start at the top. I've been decorating trees for 20 years, and uh, the top's where you start. So if anybody tells you different, ask how long they've been decorating them. 20 years, okay. You can hop on a ladder, but I'm gonna bring my tree down here because it's a quick connect, right? It's super easy. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring in my favorite step ladder and I'm gonna do this right here for you so you can see what I'm doing. And then in one piece, we're gonna put it back up. <laughs> Half the tree's gonna be done. I'm adding in a few ribbons. I'm using a simple burlap, a simple red net, single loops only to build, to build throughout my tree. Little bits of ribbon just to fill holes and to really keep that down homey look, not over ornament the tree. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna overpick my tree. If you don't know about Sullivan's picks, you need to. Picks are gonna change your life. And if you're not the best ornamenter and it's very, you know, bulbs aren't your thing, picks are gonna be your thing. You're gonna be the best Christmaser ever when we're done. I'm gonna work real quick, but I'm gonna talk as I go. I'm gonna put one simple loop right at the top of the tree in that burlap texture, just to give the tree a little tap. I tuck my ribbon right into the heart of the tree where the PVC is to hold it in place. Super easy, super gentle, lots of slack falling out. Just basic. We gotta be a little basic so then we can get all the flair in there. Now I'm moving in with my picks. Okay, are you ready for me to rock your world? One pick right here. Yeah, it's magical. It's not hard, it's so easy. As long as you're not intimidated by the task, it's so easy. I'm gonna add in this little beautiful red, and then I'm gonna hit it with some of my holly leaves. These are so fantastic. When you get them, pro tip, spread them open. You want them open, they come tight, you wanna open them up. Let them lay, let them do something great. I'm gonna tuck them right here and let them be awesome. Sometimes you got, sometimes you got to muscle it in there, but that's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to them. I'm gonna put a little snowflake on top. Another little pick trio of snowflakes. So sweet, so sweet. I'm gonna bring in one more of my nuts to the side, and I'm gonna work my way down. I'm gonna time lapse the rest of the top of the tree, but I wanted you to see how I got it started because I always think that's an important part since you know you have to start at the top. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, isn't that the coolest? The lights just went on. I love it. Okay, this part of the tree is done. I'm gonna go in with my statement items next. Let me show you what they are. Ornament, planter. Ornament, set of two planters. No, they're ornaments. I want you to make statements in your Christmas trees and if you see something that feels like it belongs, I want you to make it belong. This conveniently <laughs> has a place for me to wire right in the back. So I pop the wire in and I'm gonna get it right into the tree at a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna let it dance on the branch. I'm not gonna let it like hang out. It's literally sitting here. See, that was a risk. <laughs> that was a risk I was willing to take for you. Now I'm gonna wire it right into the heart of my tree. And uh, well, nobody's gonna be able to get it off once I get it in there. So sweet, I filled it with pine cones. I love it. You can manipulate your branches around it to make it feel right at home. It's adorable and it was a set of two, so I got two ornaments. This one's going right here, and then I'm gonna go in with my other statement pieces, tuck them in, and then we'll be right back. The statement pieces are placed, but I wanted to talk to you about the placement of the statement pieces. That's important. I'm working in a pattern. As you can see, I have the bells in a pattern. 
I have the barn in a pattern. The third part of the pattern is the 2020 Tree Santa Veer winner, <laughs> my truck. Uh, as, so you can see, I've got something going on here and everything we do from now on is gonna be patterned. I'm gonna go in real quick and I'm gonna load it up with the rest of my ribboning and then we're gonna come in, talk about our amazing ornaments, where we're gonna place them and why they're so special because all the things at Sullivan's are special. Next, I'm going in with my larger ornaments. These were definitely inspiration pieces for me. I'm hardcore crushing on this galvanized look. All of the ornaments I've chosen for this, for this look are gonna be on my Pinterest page. So Gina Loves Christmas, you can come shop from there and head straight to the Sullivan's page so you can see my selects. I'm gonna go ahead and get these placed. We'll time lapse it so you can see how I engineer all my ornaments so they're in a perfect pattern. We're perfectly patterning. <laughs> Welcome back to kindergarten. Let's do it. What I most often asked via DM on my Instagram page is Gina, but where can I get the special ornaments, the ornaments you use? If you want, I know you can buy ornaments everywhere. You know you can buy ornaments everywhere, but if you want special ornaments, you have to buy them at Sullivan's because Sullivan's is where the special things live. These little treasures, they're little barns. I, I seriously feel like I'm at my friend's barn right now. These would be treasure heirloom ornaments. These are the things you don't have to buy 40 of them. You don't have to buy 20 of them. You better get at least eight for your tree. I'm gonna place these very carefully into some select spots that I left open because I knew I had them and we'll be right back. All the statement pieces are added. All the very special ornaments are added. I don't wanna fool you. I know you saw I went in with some shatterproofs. I did, I just threw some in because I need, I need things shiny, I am who I am and I'll never apologize for it. Lastly, I'm going in with my secret weapon. My secret weapon will always be Sullivan's picks. Always, all the texture, all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and you're like, there's nowhere to put anything else in your tree, Gina. Yeah, there is, watch me. I'm Gina Loves Christmas. I hope you bring this home for the holidays. I hope you go onto the Sullivan's website, use my code JLC20, call my friends at Sullivan's, customer service, bar none, the best. Need an assist? Find me on Instagram, send me a DM, I'll answer. Want to know about other things I love? Find me on Pinterest. We're here, we love you. On behalf of myself and all of my friends at Sullivan's, we wish you the happiest of holidays and we thank you for Christmasing with us today.